welcome to the presentation for the NAC peer team. First of all, I thank IQSC for all the support given in preparation of NAC assessment. We Department of Physics, University of Kerala are celebrating our 50th year of existence. Hence, I feel privileged to represent the department to present before the NAC team. Before starting, I would like to share the link of our website www.kuphysics.in. All the details referred in the NAC assessment are mentioned in detail for your reference at your fingertips in this website. As mentioned in slide number one, we, the Department of Physics, had a humble start in 1970 and we are celebrating our golden jubilee year of existence. A few words about the legacy of our department. Dr. K. S. Vishwanathan, an eminent theoretical physicist and a student of Nobel laureate Sir C. V. Raman, was the founder head of Department of Physics. Initially, we had a modest start with seven students for MSc Diploma in Space Physics. Later, nine faculties joined. Professor Belram Rao, Professor G. Aruldas, Professor Devanarayanan, Professor M. A. Teacher, Professor V. Unnikrishnan Nair, Professor V. K. Vaidya, Professor G. Renuga, Professor C. I. Munera, Professor S. R. Prabhagaran Nair, Professor K. P. Vejigumari, Professor N. Balan, and Professor Abdul Khad. I should mention that Professor Unnikrishnan Nair and Dr. Abdul Khader, they were the founder heads of Department of Optoelectronics and Department of Nanoscience and Nanotechnology, respectively. Their contributions of our former faculty members was not only to produce scholars in physics, but also they have published 10 textbooks in various branches of physics for future generations for their reference. Screenshot of few selected books are shown in these slides. All faculties in our department were good teachers and excellent researchers. Their legacy is what we follow. Now I am sharing a snapshot of the Golden Jubilee celebration conducted in 15 12 2020. Our alumnus and the Honorable Vice Chancellor of University of Kerala, Professor VP Mahadevan Pillai delivered the inaugural address and released the logo. Dr. Ajay Kumar P.P., Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Chandrabhas Narayana, Professor P.P. Rao, former head, Department of Physics, University of Kerala, who is now visiting professor of National Remote Sensing Center, Department of Space, Government of Kerala, were also present. We had a technical talk by Patmasri Kasturi Lal Chopra on the same day. Now, let me share the status as of now in our department. Myself, CBKS, now presently the head of the Department of Physics. In the department, we have one professor, Dr. B. Biju, two associate professors, Dr. I. Hubert Cho and Dr. R. J. Vishnan, four assistant professors, Dr. I. N. Javagar, Dr. Deba K. G., Dr. G. Subodh, and myself, three UGC research faculties. Dr. Savita S. Pillai, Dr. Mamta Sahu, and Dr. Jackie Arbi during this accreditation process, and three assistant professors on contract Dr. Ajesh, Dr. Ashwadi, and Srimadi Divya Vishnu. Here I would like to highlight that one of the challenges we faced in the last NAC presentation was that we had a limited number of faculties. The university has made dedicated efforts to fill the vacant post of professor and associate professor. From two assistant professors in 2013, we have quantum jumped to 12 faculty members at present. And to handle our library and lab, we have three office staffs. Rajiv Sar is our administrative officer. Sri Adarsh is office assistant. Sri Madhimini is computer assistant. And Sri Praveen is our librarian. And Dr. Veena Kumari is our technical officer. Now moving to the academics, presently we are offering four PG programs, MSc Physics, Specialization, Applied Electronics, 
MSc Physics specialization in space physics, which is from 2020 onwards. MSc Physics specialization in renewable energy from 2021 onwards. MSc Physics specialization in nanoscience from 2021 onwards. The MSc demand ratio was on constant rise and from 833 applicants received in 2016, now we have a cumulative of 3098 applications. The MSc program Renewable Energy has attracted a lot of students which have a demand ratio 1 is to 177. About the library, the library has been automated from 2013 onwards. We have around 8700 books and recently we have purchased 1358 books. As per the records, we have 20 plus participants who are to use uh, library daily. And we have around 7 lakh funds for support for ordering new books. And we ensure that all the choices for the books are made as per the needs of the new course. And the faculty members and students are actively involved in choosing the new books. The details of these are available in http campuslibrary.ac.in. Now, there are 50 plus equipments available for research in the department. Using internal funds allocated by university, we could procure state-of-art facilities. I would like to highlight a few vibrating sample magnetometer VSM, spectrofluorometer, FTAR spectrometer, Raman spectrometer, vector network analyzer, and recently we have received grants for magnetic material lab for 1.8 crores, 2D material lab 1.9 crores, microwave lab, thin film fab lab, and virtual computing lab facility are in progress for completion. Now let me share about the research funding from external agencies which we have received in the last five years. Our department handles around 3 crore rupees. The main funding agencies are UGC, University Grants Commission, Sir, Science and Engineering Research Board, KCST, Kerala State Council for Science and Technology, DST, Department of Science and Technology, Department of Electronics and Accreditation of Computer Courses, DOECC, and International Center for Diffraction Data, ICDD. A major focus of the research is in the following areas. One is nanomaterials, thin film solar cells, non-linear optical materials, magnetism, non-equilibrium statistical physics, biophysics, micro-materials and devices, inorganic phosphors for LED applications, that is light emitting diode applications. Again, our faculty members are having research collaborations with University of Lisbon, where Portugal, we have an MOU, Korean Institute of Ceramic Engineering and Technology Korea, again an MOU is being signed, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, we have signed another MOU with them. Boys State University, USA, NS Kurnikov Institute of General and Inorganic Chemistry, Russia, University of Kyoto, Japan, CSIR NIST, Rwanda, Thiruvanduram, QSAT, Kochi, ISR, Thiruvanduram, as well as we have recently signed an MOU with VSSC, Thiruvanduram. And with the joining of new faculty members, uh, we have now collaborations with V Measures Private Limited. Pelican Thermogenics, Barco Advanced Materials, Singapore. Now, let me share a few highlights of our research output. Number of publications is 108 in the accreditation period. And there we have a cumulative impact factor of 312.5. Number of articles with impact factor greater than 5 is 70. Average impact factor is 3.6. And highest impact factor is 10.3 and the link is provided in the presentation as well as in the website. You can find the paper there. The highest number of citations for a research paper is 76. We have four book chapters and eight conference publications with ISBN. As mentioned earlier, our collaboration between industry and academy has generated revenue from consultancy service for about 1.084 lakhs. Again, during the assessment period of NAC, we have 11 PhDs, 42 MPhil, 6 PDF, and 
our research scholars have shown excellence with 11 best oral presentation awards, 4 best poster presentation awards and one of our faculty member has made a technology transfer for an amount of uh, rupees 2 lakhs with V measures private limited. Now, to highlight a few significant achievements of our faculty members in research, Dr. Raki Raghavan Baby has been listed in the top 2% scientist in India in the world rank in the field of applied physics and uh, nano, uh, by nanotechnology by Stanford University USA 2020. Her world rank is 118 and while India's ranking, in India ranking it is 10. Dr. I. Hubert Joe uh, ranks 1 in Kerala University according to World Scientist and University Ranking in 2021. And the top cited faculty in university as Dr. Subodh G, Dr. Viju B, Dr. Jayashna, Dr. Savda Pillay, Dr. Deepa K. G. They also are in the list of World Scientist and University Ranking in 2021. Again, uh, Dr. Subodh G has uh, got the KCST Young Scientist Award in 2017. And he was also listed as the 40 inspiring teachers from South India by the New Indian Express group. While Raki Madam got DST uh, Ramanujan Fellowship in 2019, Dr. Mamta Sagu has got DST Inspire Faculty Award in 2018, and Dr. I. Kuperto got UGC BSR Mid Career Award in 2021. Now, here we have highlighted some of the recent advances in research. We have made phosphors that could find applications in LEDs. The possibility is demonstrated in the photo. One of the major highlights of the SSR which Kerala University has recently submitted is that the Department of Physics could place before Kerala government the detailed project report of Tanu Patmanabhan Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics for a proposed budget of 88 crores. Our students has also made an MOU with Cubic and Dr. Akshay, postdoctoral fellow, has developed a 3D printer and we can see Albert Einstein is printed in 3D as shown in the inset of the photo of the printer. Now this technology is shared with the industry and the startup is now functional as a company to build materials for construction process. The modeling of DNA replications as well as the FIPG site inside active sites of target protein of COVID-19 has also got much attention during the pandemic period. The material science research group has also made electrolyte materials based microwave absorbers for 5G applications. Now let me share how the students perform in their academic and personal life. A total of 43 students have qualified in either state, national or international exams while 42 students have informed us about their success in their career and getting placed at various institutes. To name a few, Mithun who is our MPhil student got a PhD position in Poland. Dr. CBN cleared Kerala Administrative Service in 2021 exam with 10th rank while Hira Merita Arya qualified the highly competitive fellowship offered by DST and STEC, while Krishna Pragash and Pavitra have qualified for the Global Foundries Internship. Now, regarding the institutional values and social responsibilities, let me share a few points. We feel that the environment that we provide for both enhancing institutional values and social responsibilities are the real reason for their success. Few events are shared in the brochure to highlight the best practices in gender equality, equal opportunity, well-being of students and how we have kept a friendly working environment in celebrating each event with equal priority. A brochure is being circulated here which gives an idea about what all events we have done. In the brochure, page number two, we can see that we have regularly organized programs related to equality in gender in association with faculty and research members in political science department as well as Kerala Shastra Sahitya Parishad has also supported us in many events. 
please see the photos and you can find the QR codes which can be scanned to get the web links and details are given where we can see the webinars dealt by Bill Vinci, a research scholar for political science and also you can find the photos with Dr. Anu Unni, a faculty member who was associated with us during these events. Again, going to the page number eight, I have shared one of the best practices that we have initiated as a part of such bad admission, that is one tree, one student campaign, where we plant trees and students is given responsibilities to take care of it during the period of study in their campus. And we have monthly programs like Iniki Parayan Ulada, where a student gets 15 minutes to talk about the subject of their interest varying from topics related to nation, society, sex, race, caste, language, you name it. The students actively participate in the same and the discussions and deliberations are recorded in yearly magazines. And please turn to page number six and we can find two magazines are being shared with their QR code links. To add, I have to say that we publish our magazines, our best practices while celebrating the Independence Day. These type of events help them to share their viewpoints, feelings about the new ideas and also help them to open up with the issues regarding themselves with the faculty members. And during the COVID times, we had support from our alumni members for the well-being and to provide equal opportunity for our students. We have many programs dealt by our alumni members as well as we have uh, uh, shared some programs in page number three, where we can see Sri Joby, uh, child activist, and Miss Dina, consultant psychologist, and Dr. Sujit, assistant professor, Department of Psychology, has associated with us. And they have been there in constant support for the five years for supporting our students for their mental health. And to mention about the alumni support, our alumni has been supported actively supporting as mentors as well as supporting the students financially. We have registered the alumni as KU Physics Society as per the details in this slide and around 100 alumni have been actively involved with us during the last five years. We have an alumni contribution of rupees 1 lakh. Our prominent alumni are Professor KG Suresh, Professor PN Sandosh, Professor SK Sadish, Professor K.J. Thomas, Dr. R.S. Jayasri, Dr. Ramdas Pillai, Dr. K. Rajiv, Professor V. Ramakrishnan, Professor Mahadevan Ayer, Professor Xavier Matthew, Dr. R. Radish. Uh, to name a few, there are many who are still to be mentioned. I would like to share one of the best practice we have initiated with the support of the alumni members while celebrating the Science Day. All may have heard about uh, the Bollywood film Super 30. It was actually an adaptation of real life story of Sri Anandakumar, an Indian mathematician who offered coaching to students who couldn't afford admission fees for entrance coaching. From the real life story, we started a program named Super 30 for physics students who were selected for the three day orientation program in February last week. 30 students from various institutes joined us, 500 videos were rolled out regarding various competitive exams through our YouTube channel as well as through KU Padashala, the university uh, YouTube channel. Free science campaigns are being done with the support of our alumni members and we have, uh, who, has, who, who has supported us as our resource persons as well as they were the soft sponsors for the food and accommodation of the selected 30. To conclude, let me share uh, some of the best practices in our center that is in Travancore Observatory. I have shared uh, that in the brochure in page number 12 and we can see that faculty members as well as alumni members join hands to show our commitment to society by organizing various events like Skywatch and astronomy regularly over there. We conduct an event named Nobilia where talks are hosted which gives information about that is Nobel Prize to the audience. I mean to put these uh, detailed signs in common man's language. When science, free science is shared like that, we feel that we will have a next generation who are made capable of being 
independent, critical, innovative and inclusive so that they will contribute immensely to man and society. I thank all our alumni members, my fellow faculty members. They have contributed, they have supported immensely from smartphone challenges to organizing lectures, supporting medical urgencies, to making arrangements for NAC assessment. I thank them from bottom of my heart. Lastly, please find some time to browse through our website. We have made efforts to make them look impressive. Looking forward for your suggestions and comments on our efforts. Thank you.